Hello everyone, welcome to Boxing Blocks and guys and please if you're new to the channel make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon. Click it and select all so type of opinion banger a new exclusivity you're definitely being notified. Hmm, these are very sad news. British Nigerian born heavyweight British born Nigerian heavyweight uh boxer and former WBO and Commonwealth uh, champion Henry Akiwade Akinwade is currently sick. You know, someone wrote me his money, you know, on Instagram, informed me about it, and the person said, "I quote, let me read it. Good morning, BBC. Henry Akiwade, a British." Nigerian bomb former WBO and Commonwealth heavyweight uh, boxer he is very sick, very sick. He needs our prayers. I inspected one of the priority is selling off at Ijaye Ojukuro area of Lagos, where yesterday, Thursday, 17 September 2020, his agents claimed he has lung cancer and he wants to sell his property before he dies. Is as bad as that. Let's put him in our prayers. He's currently in UK. Currently, please do your, your own research to validate this info. But I'm ninety five percent certain. Uh, it, it's just sad, man. Long cancer. This guy sent me this message when I saw it. I was, I was, I was in shock. Area Kiwade is the former WBO king. Okay. And he lost that WBO title to Lenox Lewis when he fought him in 1997. And I think he partnered with um, Don King as well. I think he was signed to Don King promotion at, at some point. And at his peak, he made his pro debut. Everybody knows that in 1989. And fought from 1989 to 2008. The same year, Anthony Joshua went to Nigeria, went to represent Nigeria. It's just an outside in a way that he's very sick. And financially, I don't think he's doing well. I don't know, but I don't think so. Because when you're signed to Don King, Don King ruined Mike Tyson's life. A guy, I mean, Mike Tyson now is doing better, but he ruined, financially, the guy ruined him in a way. Stole a lot of money from him. It's still a lot of money. It's still a lot of money from for many boxers. Imagine Riakiwade, who wasn't even that known compared to my tax in the way. How much he stole from Akiwande? Riakiwade, of course, bought a house in, in Nigeria. Despite being born in and born in Dorwich, London, he's a British Nigerian. By the way, he represents Nigeria very well. Same way, represent a Britain. A lot of people don't know him. A lot of you guys don't know him, but he fought Michael Grant. He fought Oliver McCall. He beat Michael Grant. He lost to Oliver McCall. You know what I mean? And he lost Louis via disqualification. If you have no words, that fight, go watch it. Go watch it. Go watch it now. Looking at his uh, personal record, he fought. He had before retirement. You know, he had about fifty wins, thirty knockouts, with just four losses, and only be stopped once. Tried his whole career just once and one draw as well. So I just want to say prayers to our um, brother Henry Akiwade. May God bless his soul and I hope he recovers. For him to fight from 1989 to 2008 without like giving up, you have to say financially. He was not doing well. Someone might have stopped from him. It's just sad. And cancer, unfortunately, you know, I heard it has no cure. And <sighs> your take on this, Tajak, but it's just sad. It's sad news for me, man. As an, as an, as an Nigerian man, it's sad news for me, brother. I mean, when I got this news this morning, I was like, Henry, I kill one day. For real. Crazy, bro.
that news. Uh, Akiwanda is, uh, you would say, a, a, a national treasure of Nigeria. You know, um, he's one of those guys that you know he's good, but how good was he, uh, you know, with the proper, if he would have had the proper trainer and the proper people backing him, you know, but being from Af uh, Nigeria and, you know, we always don't always, we always don't have the best uh, people that surround us at heart. Fortunately, Don King was one of them. But I, I, I digress away from that. And, you know, the guy is was 6'7". He was a monster at the heavyweight division, you know. Um, if it wasn't for so many, some ups and downs, I think he would have been a complete monster in the heavyweight division. Him and Mr. President, you know. And it's it's very saddening that, you know, he's... He's... Uh, He's, he's in dire need of selling his property in Lagos, you know, which, you know, if any buyers are some, if any buyers want to buy, um, Lagos is also going to be a booming area very soon, you know, so that would be a good investment and in helping him out sell his property before he passes. I'm guessing he's probably going to live, leave what, what's left to his uh, family, you know, um, Again, congrats. Um, this is very unfortunate, unfortunately, but hopefully we can, going forward, we can, Nigeria could, uh, how do you say it? Uh, could do better, bro. Could do I mean, I mean, I don't know if Nigeria recognizes him like that. I mean, if you're not, if you, if you're not an hardcore fan, it's hard to recognize him because if you're not an hardcore fan, a lot of Nigerians, might not, don't even know where i mean don't might not even know his name if you ask nigeria right I now mean, who is area a lot of people wouldn't know him and he had about 50 he had about 50 wins on his record on his record you know before retirement so he has to be you know congratulations he was signed to don king you know like you have to understand you just like i know lung cancer is something you cannot cure but at the same time you also need money to like but him selling his property is a way of like, I mean, he already knows it's going away. So we have to pray for him. It's prayer this time. We have to pray. Only prayers can and um can make can make a change in a way. And it's just sad. Cancer has no cure according to what I've learned so far and I've read about it and all that. It's just it's just crazy. May God bless you so continue, brother, before I'm out. They should congratulate him for what he has done, and he should be a he should be recognized as a national treasure, you know, because he's such. Unfortunately, like you said, Nigeria is just so, you know, just certain words I cannot put. But I wish even even the British even the British media is not talking about it right now. The British media have abandoned him. That shows you how wicked the British media is. The only one you're winning, they want to like be praising you. But I believe me, believe me, if you were someone like, I mean, I don't want to like go too political in a way, but at the same time, we know what's going on. So, not only Nigeria, bro. I mean, there's no article about about this. Nobody's remembering Henry Akiwade, despite what he sacrificed for Britain. He never fought in Nigeria once. He never fought in Nigeria once. Um, I don't know, man. It's just sad, you know. And may God bless his soul. May God guide him. May our ancestors have mercy on him. And yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know what to say. It's just a sad, it's a sad story for me to talk about, you know. But continue, man. For Vamut. Well, not much else to say, you know, praise to him, praise to his family, you know, and we wish him the best. Yeah, man. So, if you're Nigerian, please pray for Eriakiwade, whatever you believe in, 
might believe in you know i mean if you're islam if you're, if you're muslim or christian you believe in our ancestors whatever you believe in pray for our brother Henry Akiwari. you know he's done a lot for boxing even even if you're a boxing fan you know you're american or british you know pray for the guy he deserves it god bless you all it blesses